So this question says, in triangles L, M, N, and R, S, T, angles L and R are each have measure 60 degrees, L, N equals 10, and R, T equals 30. So I'm going to draw this out. I'm going to draw two triangles. I'm going to label this one um, L, M, N. What do we know about L, M, N? I know that angle L is 60. And I know that LN is equal to 10. Now, because I know RT is 30, and looks like RT, which is first and last, and LN, first and last, should represent the same side length of the triangle, I'm going to assume that triangle RST is larger. So I'm going to draw it larger. So now labeling this, RST. Again, I know that R is 60, just like L was. And I know that RT is 30. Perfect. Okay, so we know that angle L and R are congruent, and side LN is one-third the size of side RT. Another way to say it is RT is three times larger. So in essence, if these two triangles are similar triangles, then that means triangle RST should be three times bigger than triangle LMN. And all of our angles here, M, which I'll show as a double angle symbol, should be equal to S. And N, which I'll represent as a triple angle symbol, should be congruent to T. Which additional piece of information is sufficient to prove that triangle LMN is similar to triangle RST? Okay, well, let's see. Choice A says... MN equals 7 and ST equals 7. Well, if this were 7 and this were 7, that would, honestly, it would disprove that these two triangles are similar. Because if these triangles were similar, um, the side lengths, the corresponding sides, should be proportional. right? And we already have established that this is 10 and this is 30. So I'd expect this to be 21, in fact, if these were similar triangles. So I'm going to erase the 7 and erase the 7 over here. And I'm going to cross out choice A. That doesn't work. Choice B, if MN were 7 and ST were 21. Well, that definitely fits the bill in terms of keeping it as, of uh, keeping triangle RST as three times larger. But it doesn't address the fact that we have to have these corresponding angles congruent to each other. So while this would be helpful, I don't believe it is sufficient to prove because it doesn't deal with the angles at all. So that's why I'm going to cross out B. Choice C, the measure, in fact, let me get rid of the 7 and 21, so there's no confusion. Choice C, the measure of angles M and S are 70 and 60, respectively. So if M was 70 and S were 60, again, that would actually disprove, right? Because again, in order to be similar triangles, the corresponding angles have to be congruent. So C is also gone. Which means that, you know, D better be the correct answer, but we have to test it out. I did, you know, somewhat like choice B, so I'm happy to go back and choose that if it happens to be the best answer provided. Um, but let's see what choice D is saying. Choice D says the measures of angle M and T are 70 and 50. Okay, so if M is 70 and T is 50, well... 60 plus 50 is 110. That would make S 70 in order to have all three angles adding up to 180. So that would give me a match for M and S. So that's good. And 70 and 60 is 130, which would make N have to equal 50 to add up to 180. So that gives me a match between N and T. Okay, so choice D is the only answer choice that would confirm that all three corresponding angles are congruent. And because we already have proportional sides here between LN and RT. I don't have to show proof of that elsewhere. So choice D is the best answer to this question.